Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the uh, Scott Sports 101. Uh, 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 week 12, uh, NFL football Sunday, week 12, uh, early late games uh, recap show, and Sunday night football Browns Ravens pregame show. Well, preview show and update show. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, all today's action, and this is the run for the playoffs. This is where at the critical stretch of the season, or every win is a must win for the Browns. Uh, we'll get to all that. We'll talk about tonight's game. But first, uh, here is today's Scott Sports 101 trivia question. Butch Davis to the rescue. The former Miami, Do Miami Hurricane head coach had a knack for drafting uh, players that he had coached at Miami, which of his following draft picks was not a former member of the U. I'll have the answer later on the podcast. Right now, we're going to go over all of the action. Uh, we're going to recap the games from Thursday first. The Bears beat the Lions 16-14. to And, and uh, I took Chicago. My brother and I are clear. I took the Lions. I won. He lost. The uh, and Lions had a chance. They just could not do it. And they struggled offensively and defensively. And they had a touchdown that was called back. And uh, the Raiders beat the Cowboys in overtime. Uh, and uh, and at AT and T Stadium in Dallas, thirty six to thirty three, and uh, the Raiders just really look good in that one. And uh, Derek Carr gets the game ball, and the Buffalo Bills beat the New Orleans Saints Thanksgiving Day at Mercedes Benz Stadium in New Orleans, 31 to six. Josh Allen gets the game ball. The uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, I mean the Cincinnati Bengals, excuse me, wall up the Pittsburgh Steelers today at Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. Uh, 41 to 10 today. And this one in, uh, this was one of those games where it was just one side of the Steelers just could not do anything right in this one. And, uh, Mike Hutton got to play as, uh, I guess his former team for the first time. And, uh, Roethlisberger got, had three, caught three of the interceptions, but Pittsburgh just could not do anything right in this one. The Miami Dolphins beat the, and I took Cincinnati, and my brother and I took Pittsburgh. I won, he lost. Now my, the Miami Dolphins beat the Carolina Panthers at home at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, 33-10. to And uh, uh, Tuck to have a low, he was flawless. Sam Darnold had one of his worst performances today. And I got to give the game ball to Tuck to have Yola and Miles Gaskin in this uh, for this one. The uh, New York Giants beat the uh, Philadelphia Eagles in a low-scoring game, 13-7. to The Eagles held to just seven points. Jalen Hurts uh, was uh, had three interceptions and got sacked three times in this game. And uh, basically, the Giants really got a big one on the day when they retired. Uh, Michael Strahan's number 92 jersey. And uh, he was inducted into the Giants Hall of Fame and will be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. The New England Patriots wall up the Tennessee Titans 36-13 at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. And uh, uh, Mac Jones and uh, uh, Kedrick Borm and uh, um, uh, Damian Harris get the game balls. Uh, the uh, Atlanta Falcons beat the Jacksonville Jaguars 21-14 at Everbank Field. In uh, Jacksonville, Florida, Matt Ryan gets the game ball, and Russell Gage as well. And uh, uh, Jacksonville had a chance, but they were struggling today, but they could not get over the hurdle. And the Falcons had a had a great game today. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers came from behind to beat the Indianapolis Colts 38-31 at Lucas Oil Stadium. Tom Brady now 16-4, and and come from behind wins against the Colts all time. And... Uh, uh, he was happy to beat the Colts for the first time since joining the Buccaneers. Uh, the New York Jets beat the uh, Tennessee Titans 21-14 at Energy Stadium in Houston, Texas. Uh, Zach Wilson coming back after an injury. Not happy with his performance, but he was happy to get the win and had a touchdown pass, three touchdown passes in this game. and uh, Well, one touchdown pass, excuse me. And... Uh, the Texans were not happy after last week's uh, upset victory over the uh, uh, Patriots at uh, the Titans last week, but they wanted to get another win today, but couldn't do it. 
The Denver Broncos beat the L.A. Chargers at home at, at Empire Field at Mile High, 28-13. Uh, they, L.A. just did not look good in this one. The Chargers did not, and uh, they just struggled in this game today. And uh, uh, Pat Sutton showed off not, uh, not only his sticky hands, but his swift feet, and he had a great game. So, uh, Teddy Bridgewater, the game balls go to Denver. Teddy Bridgewater, 11 of 18 carries and attempts, 129 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. Uh, Melvin Gordon, 17 uh, attempts, 83 yards, no touchdown. And uh, I think it's Jamal Williams, I believe. Uh, uh, yeah, Javante Williams, excuse me. Javante Williams, three receptions, 57 yards. Uh, the uh, Green Bay Packers uh, beat the L.A. Uh, Rams at legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay, uh, Wisconsin. And uh, Aaron Rodgers just had a great game. Uh, the Packers just had this game from the get-go. And the Rams tried to come from behind, but they could not do it. They just... But they, they they kept it close though. Uh, and uh, um, and they they just did. But it was Green Bay that pulled away and got the win. Uh, Aaron Rodgers withstood withstood pain from a toe injury and threw two touchdown passes in this game today. Uh. But uh, the Rams led 17 to nothing and scored, I think, another touchdown and a field goal. And but that was it. They could not. They weren't able to get over that hurdle. And uh, uh, they just uh, could not get over it that hurdle today. And uh, Aaron Rodgers, the, the Packers get the game balls uh, today. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, uh, 28 of 45 carries in the time, 207 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Uh, I think it's uh, A.J. Dillon, uh, 20 attempts, 69 yards, no touchdowns. And uh, uh, Randall Cobb. Uh, four receptions, 95 yards, one touchdown. And rounding out the uh, early games today, uh, the San the late games, excuse me, uh, the San Francisco 49ers beat the Minnesota Vikings 34 to uh, 26 at Levi Stadium in San Francisco. Uh, <coughs> the uh, uh, 49ers had a chance. I mean, the Vikings had a chance, and they kept it close, but San Francisco came away with the win. I got to give the game ball to uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. Well, uh, those are the all the games from today, and uh, and uh, I am right now, I took a, uh, right now, I am eight and uh, five, eight and Eight and five. My brother-in-law is five and seven. So we'll see. This is one game the Browns need to win tonight. And uh, I took uh, uh, Tampa Bay. We both took Tampa Bay and won. I took Houston, and we both took Houston and lost. We both took Philadelphia and lost. Uh, I took. He took the Steelers. I took Cincy and won. Uh, I took Carolina. I took Miami. He won on that one. We both took the Patriots and won. We both took the Chargers and lost. We both took uh, Green Bay and won. I took the 49ers. He took uh, San Fran took uh, the Vikings and lost. So, and I have Cleveland and the Ravens for this one. And for tomorrow, we both have Washington. So, it looks like because my, if my brother-in-law wins this one, he'll go to six and seven, and I'll fall to uh, uh, eight and six. But it does look like I'm going to win the picks this week. So we'll get to talking about the Browns in just a moment. But uh, but uh, first, 
It's time now to reveal the answer to today's Scott Sports 101 uh, NFL Football Week 12 trivia question. And uh, it's a Browns trivia question. Butch Davis to the rescue, the former Miami Hurricane uh, uh, head coach, uh, had a knack for drafting players that he had coached at Miami, which of which of his following draft picks was not a former member of the U? And if you said Andre Davis, you are correct. Uh, Jackson, Malik ja- uh, uh, Jackson was a third rounder in 2001. Uh, King was a seventh rounder in 2001. Uh, Gonzalez was a seventh rounder in 02, And Andre Davis was a Florida product taken in the fifth round in 2001. Uh, I will have the uh, another trivia question on my tomorrow on my Monday Night Football pregame show, so stay tuned for that. Well, it's Week 12 of the NFL, and the Browns will are battling are taking on the Baltimore Ravens right now at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland tonight on Sunday Night Football on NBC. And uh, right now it's three nothing Ravens. In the second quarter, with 5:17 to go, it's second and goal at the Cleveland uh, at the Cleveland one yard line, and the Ravens ha- are, have the ball, and the Browns need to score. They need to get on the board before halftime. They need to have the lead before halftime to say this because this is a critical game. The Browns need to win tonight. Uh, the Browns are coming off a sloppy 13 to 10 win over the. Uh, over the winless Detroit Lions last week. And it wasn't pretty, but it was a win. Mayfield really struggled in last week's game against the Lions, but he's put that all, uh, all, uh, all uh, that and all his injuries behind him. He's, uh, and, uh, and all that behind him. He's ready uh, to uh, make plays with his legs and lead the Browns. To a big win over the Baltimore Ravens. Kareem Hunt uh, will return from injury for tonight's game. That's good news for the Browns. Jack Conklin will be back from his injury for tonight's game. Uh, So that should really be a big plus for the Browns. That's really some good news. This game tonight against the Ravens is a win the Browns desperately need uh, to win. They will need to score from the get-go. and They have not done that yet, but they need to get on the board right now. They need to not let the Ravens score. Uh, meanwhile, the Ravens, before we get to that, expect the Browns' uh, defense to really have a big game tonight. And Nick Chubb will be playing as well. I expect him to have a good game as well. Uh, meanwhile, the Ravens are coming off a 16-13 win over the uh, Chicago Bears last week. The Bears had a chance... Uh, to uh, win the last week's game, but Baltimore, the Ravens came back and kicked a game-winning field goal to come from behind and win the game. And uh, Lamar Jackson is back from his illness, and he is ready to go and will play tonight. Marquise Brown is active uh, from uh, his injury tonight, from injured reserve, and he will play tonight, also play tonight as well. And uh, expect the Ravens to have a really big game. Expect Jackson to have a big game and their defense to have one. So this is going to be one of those games where either team is desperate for a win. It's a must win for either team tonight. So especially for the Browns, and we'll see what happens. Well, that's just about going to wrap it up for the Scott Sports 101. Uh, Sunday night, uh, uh, NFL football Sunday, week 12, uh, early late games recap show on Sunday night football. Uh, Browns Ravens pregame show and I'll ha- an update show. So I will have the uh, uh, highlights. I-, I will have the Su- Scott Sports 101 Sunday Night Football uh, postgame show once the game between the Browns and Ravens has concluded. But until then, always remember be a team player each and every day and every way possible. So long, everybody. 3 2 1. I'm done.